Hello, Internet friends. My name is Bay. This is. So, I've been meaning to ask you something. You said old Sephiroths come back from the dead, right? And that that's a bad thing. So, what I want to know is, how do you do it? And what's he after? He wants to save the planet. But wouldn't that make him a good guy? It's not what he's doing, but how. He doesn't give a shit if everyone dies in the process. Sounds like a total nutter. I mean, there's not much point in having a planet if there's no one left to enjoy it, is there? That said, let's not forget that we still got a whole nother problem. One that's reared its ugly head time and time again. Bunch of assholes who won't stop till they've bled the planet dry. Shinra. Hmm? <laughs> to hit them where it hurts, we'll need to leverage those connections of yours. But if you even think about stabbing us in the back, I'm gonna hug and squeeze you to death, you hear me? Loud and clear. Well, this is Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, but I'm bad. A light commentary playthrough where I sometimes get very frustrated by certain mini games that take me an hour to do. Am I getting jebated by... Oh. Okay. So I did complete that last Glide to Chocobo minigame in the last chunk. It did take me like an hour to do it. But it's done. Oh. So we're making our way. I think this is going to go towards main quest. Even though I just wanted to explore. Oh, that's okay. We're doing a lot of exploring lately. Let's maybe progress the story a bit more. get here and then it'll open up well that's the observatory up there or the veil
we want to morph these guys. Sacred sanctuary where the planet's greatest minds gather. It's beautiful. More than I ever imagined. Come on, let's pick up the pace. I can hear it calling my name. Yeah, me too. Yeah, me too. Oh, Dalthir, are you stopping by to see if I was still in in uh Glide to Chocobo Pain Town? You missed it. Ah, oh, shucks. Did I fix my material? Oh, I did. Okay. Awfully sneaky. I'm curious, what did you think of the Fort Condor minigame? Uh, I mean, I did it all with no issue, really. It was like one of the hard mode levels that I had to retry and, and work on like the uh, order of operations that I did, but it was fine. This is good. Okay, so this must connect to here, which goes down here. All right. Oh, I did a lot of Fort Condor in the Yuffie DLC too, and it was really fun. Hey, guys, it's me. Come back. Nanaki, I can't believe it. it really is you. <laughs> no, he we couldn't help so himself. <laughs> oh, come on. Whoa. Now, why don't you go pay your respects to fellow Bugenhagen? Come on. <laughs> uh, you can let them through. They're good people. I promise. After all, they're the reason I'm here. What in the hell was that? Hey guys, it's me. Who? <laughs> He's such a softy. Real quick, gotta check something. An airship dropped these on us this morning. Oh, well. Wanted posters of the terrorists who bombed those reactors. Hmm. Hi, it's us. But I think we can say you had nothing to do with all that. Even if Nanaki hadn't vouched for you, it's obvious. <sighs> Welcome to the sanctum of planetology, Cosmo Canyon. Hmm. Ooh, new Queen's blood. Hmm. Welcome to Cosmo Canyon. Hello. 
looks so good to see this place like this and not squished pixel blobs. Thanks for keeping watch over the veil. My pleasure. Are you about to Welcome to Namaki's back. It's such a relief to know that he's that windmill generation. You see that wanted poster? Pictures look nothing like us. It must be that way for a reason. Gotta keep on our toes. I've always pronounced his real name Nanaki instead of Nanaki. Like harder, flatter A's. But I guess this is the first time we're really ever hearing it said. Like Nanaki instead of Nanaki. But. It's pronouncing it the, those two different ways is just it's just dialect oriented with what the you know the the type of people that are living in Cosmo Canyon like you know Finally, ethnicity and wise stuff like that the, the souls that have returned whence they came it's very Native American so to the wisdom of the planet it is Torch elevator. And the resolution on this map's crazy. I guess there's nothing open up until us until we go back and talk to Red. one of those cavern inns these are real like they're inns like this in in the real world our world oh no oh. that SSL used to be a soldier lots of hand signals that's how Shinra sign language came to be a thing I know the basics Queen's blood huh that's cool. <laughs> it was a good luck. Okay, insectoid chimera. Start out with the tried and true. And we'll adapt from there. I think I have another card that I could sub into this deck that actually might make it a little better.
guess that works because it pushes a two forward. I want to leave that for a response instead. Oh, he's playing Joker. I see. Okay. I should have. I should have played bottom instead. All right. Well, now that I know he's got a Joker in the deck, I can't leave a top to bottom transition. All right. Yeah, uh huh, uh huh. But you could like just end the game. <clears throat> like, you have to wait for the AI to finish playing cards. Uh huh. Can I, can I start over? I'm just gonna restart. He can just still take that back. This Joker is a two drop, right? more diagonal deck. It kind of awkwardly helps me in this situation. play here. Just fighting over that top middle. Can you put on a one, a two? Oh, that's right, because you can eat. Yeah, that's fair. Still behind. Hmm. Oh, the man of war actually takes over if it takes it, huh? Hmm. All right. Going that way.
Well, that's an annoying top deck. This is what I wondered if, if, uh, the Queen's blood would somewhat devolve into is that you basically use four or more of the cards that are all about eating your cards. It just makes your early game weaker. Is it really plus three on Midgod Stormer each time? Oh, that'll be his maximum plus three. This is a six, right? No. Why is it saying? Oh, it's just going to have. Hmm. I see, I see. was that? What? Oh, it was one away from the, the bloat. Okay, that's right. That's fine. I didn't need that anyway right now anyway, because it wasn't helping me. Seven to their 23. I don't think anything here matters because they have the big mid guard in the middle, so just whatever. The deck I made to, to try to counter the NPCs that were all about eating their own stuff. There was a challenge in, the, in uh, Gold Saucer for it. And the way you counter that that I found is you just go hard one lane with the. Uh, Either the jockey or the chocobo that add stuff to the lane win it just overpowers their amount that they can do because a lot of the things that eat cards are only uh, like ones and twos but that insectoid chimera seems uh, uh pretty good pretty good the 
a good fight, though. Hang on. Are you ex-military, too? Solid idea. Good luck with that. Oh. Congratulations. You have attained the rank of Blood Captain. Oh boy. Oh. Wise, the AI you met on the ferry, has undergone a software update. It presently resides in the Dust Bowl. I advise you to challenge it and gauge its new and improved capabilities. I've done that a couple times in this game now, when you have to beat a, a technically a higher ranked player to beat a lower ranked boss challenge. This guy's a seven, and I'm going to go back and fight a six. And I did that earlier where I had to fight a six, and then I went back and fought a five. I don't know why they chose to do it that way. I'm just I'm getting dry skin just by looking at this place. I'm not doing the piano right now because I have to pause the recording, so. I can't put any of the piano attempts in the video. Because they get copyright flagged. So the concert at the Royal Cove of Flowers is the most storied establishment. This place is divine! I can't believe you got a reservation! <laughs> so this is the famous cave hotel! The famous cave Have hotel. Okay, now this is what I call being in the great outdoors. Everything we have is a gift given to us by the planet. No guardrail? You know, just gonna let the you know let the drop to your death just be your Darwin condition here. All right. Something about just. Mm -hmm. Oh hey, what's up? Um, you a customer? How they weed out people that don't deserve to be in Cosmo Canyon if you fall off the stairs and plummet to your death and become paste. I don't know if I want to spend like 35,000 gil on these minor upgrades. It's either two defense or three magic for the step up. But the red megaphone. Huh. Strange that it's at a vendor instead of loot somewhere. How you wield those things now? It's a megaphone. Red megaphone has zero materia. Excuse me? What? Oh, that's annoying. Guess I gotta... This is why it has no materia. 
So with his folio and these two things, you give him 300 luck on top of his 87. He'll have almost 500 luck. Oh, sorry, almost 400 luck. Math is hard. I don't know how that math works out there, but that's a lot. Does he like crit every single attack? What the heck? It's not ideal though. Hopefully I can go fight something and get that. Although I don't know, exploding Moogle maybe does tons of damage. Tonics, liniments, filters. We have everything you need to cure what ails you. That's what I was looking for. And eight new cards. I'm gonna look through my decks. Boom is kind of cracked though. Hmm. I was born and raised here in this canyon. I was to become a watcher of the veil like those before me until I was taken by Shinra. Now that I'm home and have repaid my debt to you, I plan to serve my village once more. I appreciate all that you've done for me. Thank you. We're really gonna miss you, Red. Oh, don't say that. You're only making this harder. I mean, I wish we had more time, but this is my duty. I suppose it was your duty to act the old man. <laughs> I wanted you to treat me as an equal, not a dog. Not a pig. Is that you, my boy? Coming! So, was that goodbye? No. Nah, I'm sure we'll see him around the canyon. The real question is, why did we come here? To learn the secrets of planetology. Come on. Can't forget that materia. As for me. Ah, that will do. <laughs> I'm going to steal some shut eye if you don't mind. Then we can see the sights. And that actually plays into if you know what Kate Sith is. That's still I've so weird. Planetology for years now. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, okay. like explore around mode because everyone left the party feel the energy all around you it rides the winds across our planet singing through the veil to fill our lungs and by extension our very beings as you will come to learn the practice of mindful breathing can connect us with the ineffable wonders of the planet okay remember in the original game because obviously it's not voiced it's all just text boxes did it ever give a hint that red spoke in a deeper voice originally because the naki is not very old the so cards may serve as a conduit for the very wisdom traveler you've more than a passing interest in queen's blood it has bewitched you be at ease 
It is only natural to hear its call. The queen's blood is of the planet and for the planet. It, like all things, is part of the great cycle that connects us. Indeed, each and every card holds within it a greater purpose, one that belies their form. Come, join me in a match that you too may glimpse the truth of our great mother. This is that Magic the Gathering player that you play that starts talking about the lore behind all their cards as they play them. And you're just like, bro, I'm here to play Magic. I'm here to tap mana. What the hell? I'll go back to the tried and true. Let's see what this... Oh, if you enhance it, it'll raise allied enemy cards by four. If it's enfeebled, it lowers them by four. Interesting. Specifically, a block cactuar. Interesting. Yeah, it has to play mid or lose its three. Ooh, that's gross. Being forced to play that there. Yeah, one move left. Okay, yep. Cannibal cards, gotcha. I imagine all the high end decks are gonna run cards like that. Yep. What's the weird griffin do? forehead destroyed just a casual 45 to 0 now that could be pretty spicy though with those stupid weird lizard things since the lizard buffs before in front of it one you put this in front of it, it becomes a five, and then it buffs above and below it by plus four. It's like a crazy, like, second row in play. It would lock you early. You have to do it in the third row, I think, though. Oh. Very curious. A turn I did not expect, which confirms my fears. A strange, wicked pall hangs over the life stream, and a similar dark energy has corrupted Queen's blood. Be careful. The game's pleasures belie the thorns beneath that will bleed you slowly and surely. Many devotees <laughs> have succumbed to the darkness of which I spoke. Too many. Remember, the cards are a link between us and the planet. If you are in trouble, reach out. She shall answer. Oh, great mother, hear my prayer. Watch over your son. 
don't know if I want the shadow blood queen looking o watching over me. I'm gonna hit you with uh that's sus. Oh, this place is huge. Hi, hey, Barrett. A lot of folks downplay the planet's peril, but if they saw the weapons up close like we did, they'd have no choice but to acknowledge how bad it really is. Folks around here, though, they get it. They want what's best for our planet. You can see it in their eyes. Wonder if it ain't too late to recruit them to Avalanche. Only wish we could have made it out here sooner. Mm. If you ask me, planetology's... Oh, Professor Gast. I hope you know that your legacy is on. That your discovery is paved the way. This liquor has an herbal... Interesting name drop there. Blood Carnage. Me. Oh, oh, it's our very first catch of the day, folks. We have ourselves a challenger. Hello, sir. Care to tell the folks at home who you are? Ha ha ha. Could this shark be more of a guppy? Well, I spy a row of razor sharp teeth in this little fishy's maw. You might be the QB killer we've been waiting for, but there's only one way to find out. That's right. Our audience doesn't want to hear commentary. They want to see blood. To up the ante, our challenger's opponent will be none other than your host with the most, me, Bernard. First time this card is enhanced. Raise the power of allied cards on affected tiles by three. It only enhances the two above. Hmm. And first enhance lower the power of enemy cards on affected tiles by four. Oh, so it lowers right in front of it. Then first enfeebled. Raise the power of allied cards on affected tiles by four. I don't have an enfeeblements. Enfeeblements? Let's just be lowered. When ally cards are destroyed, raise the card's power by one. When destroyed, add a resurrected amalgam to your hand. I'm assuming it's a stronger card. When destroyed, raise the power of allied enemy cards and affect the toss by two. That's chaos. Absolute chaos. And first enhance lower the power of enemy cards by a two. Mm, it's pretty gross. The Jabberwock is like a reverse card. I wonder if there are more reverse matches. First enfeebled. You need to like debuff your own cards. Mm, diagonal destroy. It would be insane to run the Great Marlboro, but I don't know how to push a three that far forward without it getting countered. It's like all the Really nasty cards at the end is that you need to push a three that far forward. You know what?
Replace an ally. Lower the power of allied and enemy cards on affected tiles by the replaced ally's power. Offensive replacement. So they're the same, they just up and right versus down and right replacement patterns. cards again. I don't, how many cards do I have that enfeeble my own cards without destroying them? So obviously you want to like, if you want to lower your card, you don't want to lower and destroy it though. counter but I have to pressure otherwise it's just gonna yeah that defend no oh, both of them well then I can see destroying your card doesn't count as enfeebling it so points on the board there, bud. What do you got? Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. If you go like that, that's... Yeah. That's not... It counts as a destroy for plus one, but... Interesting, but you also buffed me when you did that. Because you took power out of your lanes. And I just block here. Unless you're eating anything else. No? Okay. Interesting. Because like the the like the capper wire lowers, so I guess that must be what it means. So much setup to push cards and then Enfeeble them Talk with backline. Carnage, am I right? I'm Ooh. lucky I got out of that match with my limbs intact. Today's shark is a ferocious man-eating menace. 
he made a serious splash with some ruthless moves. Players the world over have got to be shaken in their boots. Something tells me this beast is about to upset the QB food chain. Better start swimming. Congratulations to you, sir, for an incredible match. Though we found the canyon's resident shark, the fun never ends on this show. Stay tuned because we've got more coming your way. Oh my God. For the practice of mindful breathing, we can tap into the flow of the planet's spiritual energy and bring it into ourselves. First, a deep, calming breath. My precious materia, where are you? No need to be shy, come out. Yuffie's gonna take you home. <laughs> My precious materia, where are you? No need to be shy, come out. Yuffie's gonna take you home. <laughs> Since time and tell me, is it right Very to silly. the teachings of planetology to others? Oh, hello, Snaps. I plan to devote the rest of my life to studying planetology. <laughs> Fancy running into you here. Say, how about I get a shot of you giving thanks to the planet? The beauty of this place is unreal. Pictures can't do it justice. Wonders such as these have to be experienced in person. I want to believe I can capture this magic. I'm looking for spots with a spiritual feel, if you know any. That's where Red went. Oh. It went this way? Or did he go up the ladder? Never Never the, the ladder, up the elevator. There's a lot of people here. Is there enough lodgings for all these people? My gosh. of the planet upon you disciples of her teachings gather here to share their experiences through these seminars we learn from one another and together enrich our lives participation in the seminars requires a special invitation from a mentor without one I'm afraid you cannot join perhaps you might instead consider taking part in the river of light ceremony I suspect you'd enjoy it so we'll be back here at some point. A seminar is in progress. Yeah, it seems we're going down. Time I've spent here listening and learning. Can we go up though? I ask you this. Who among you has Oh, we can. But it shows I guess we have of the cliff. quite high. Ah, not so fast. Sorry, but visitors aren't allowed in here. You see, this is where we keep all our valuables. Wow. <laughs> okay.
Well, if anyone has a fear of heights, I know it's obviously fake, but like... The perception's still there. My goodness. Only those who have the key, as well as fellow Bugenhagen's permission, are allowed inside. Well, I'm gonna go talk to Bugenhagen then. If we've anything to fear, it is not our fellow man, nor any creature big or small, with whom we share our home. It is that which comes from beyond the confines of this world. That which disrupts the natural order. The other which may attempt to claim and consume the planet. Indeed. And so I bid you, her children. You oh, look so th good. These are the friends I was talking about. <laughs> Thank you for looking after Mama Jin. My name is Wukenhagen. I teach planetology here in the canyon. And one could say I know a thing or two about our world. A thing or two? I doubt there's a thing or two you don't know about it. <laughs> well, it might seem that way to a child like yourself. I'm not a child anymore. I'm 48. 40 what? <laughs> <laughs> Nanaki here has a long life ahead of him. In human mm. terms, I would say he's about 15 or 16 years old. Mm -hmm. That's more than old enough. I can protect our Vale and everyone in it. Which is more than I can say for my good-for-nothing father. Mm. Oh, oh, oh. Speaking of the members of our little community, have you announced your return to one and all, Namaki? Not yet. Be right back. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> but where are my manners? Please, come in and have a look around. He do be floating. your curiosity they are essential to my studies of the planet Nanaki never had much exposure to the outside world I can only hope his travels with you have served to enlighten him oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> they are essential to my studies of the planet I just wanted to hear his laugh again Research materials archived here. While that may appear to be little more than a glistening mineral at a glance, it is in fact a crystallized collection of our planet's memories. It's like you're singing to me of the planet's wisdom. Don't you worry, my dear. I'll find a way to bring out the full depth of your beauty. Cross my heart. That's a scale model of our planet and the surrounding stars. One could say the dust it's collected represents the people who live upon it. records fluctuations in various energies. I must ask that you handle it with care. It's a rather delicate device, you see. <laughs> the recordometer. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, 
Those devices are testing the pull of gravity. Mm hmm. I'll have you know that in his childhood, Nanaki was quite a handful. is one of the first Marco detectors ever built. Hmm. hmm. Though I suspect it can't detect much now. Anarchy never had much exposure to the outside world. I can only hope his travels with you have served to enlighten him. <laughs> Let's not be hasty. I'll show you that room later. the power of the wind to produce new air flows of its own. Perhaps you've encountered them before during your travels. Yeah, during the worst minigame this game has to offer so far. Or at least easily the most frustrating. There it is. into their past what they once were eons ago can't say i'm all that interested in the future but that's just how we're wired humans can't help but fixate on the past on what used to be wow, i was rather deep i wasn't expecting that the planet connects us one and all for everything exists through her. Mind your manners in front of fellow booby. I'll mind my manners just fine if it tells me how he's floating on that giant materia orb. This is beautifully complex as the cosmos. larger telescope on the planet with it you can see to the edge of the galaxy there's no better view of the stars than through this scope <laughs> but the lens could do with some cleaning my apologies oh 
Okay. Did I miss something? us on the surface to hear the inner voice of the planet what we just heard didn't come from the planet though that was definitely the voice of a weapon hmm you seem awfully sure of yourself miss because we saw them with our own eyes two in the corral and gungaga reactors they were loud and huge <laughs> a fascinating account were it true. Mm -hmm. However, such grand delusions could be a sign of Marco poisoning. Do see a doctor. Um, excuse me? Oh, oh. Yes. That would do them some good. <laughs> Judging from everything you've said, the three of you are unfamiliar with basic planetology. But it is never too late to learn. Please, come with me. Here we go. I don't remember M Bugenhagen just shooting us down that hard originally. But I guess so. I present to you our planetarium. While the Shinra building features the latest iteration, this particular one is my original design. Now then, without further ado. Beginning. A shooting star. Planetology is not simply the study of the cosmos and the celestial bodies that dwell in it. Rather, it is a quest to comprehend the cyclical nature of life. soil so teeming with life that mankind was born and like all living things man is fated to die so what happens next the body withers and returns to the planet but what of the mind the spirit the soul much like its former vessel, it too returns whence it came. To the great river where all intertwine and circle the planet without end. A cycle of continuous convergence and divergence. The ceaseless ebb and flow that is the life stream. An apt name. Though it is as much a reservoir as it is a stream, being the sum of the planet's spiritual energy. It is the very essence of our star, the blood coursing through its planetary veins. And if ever 
were that essence were to be entirely depleted. Gorgeous. Of course. These are but basic principles of planetology. So you're saying that Mako is spiritual energy, which we're using up? Just so. Siphoned from the planet and processed for industry. That energy can no longer fulfill its true purpose. It is fated to fuel man's machinery, then fade away. Okay, but does it actually fade away? I mean, what if it doesn't? What if it just returns to the life stream in a different form? Is that possible? A novel theory, suggestive of a lack of understanding. Hmm. However, that can be overcome with time and education. You rang? Please escort this young lady to our seminar room, would you? Right this way. Okay. <laughs> hey, can I come? Got a question. Planet runs out of energy. It and everything on it dies, right? <sighs> yes. Is there any way to avoid this? Like, making the spiritual energy stronger? Why are you asking me such things? <clears throat> I'm sorry. I've come to realize that I'm somewhat stuck in the past. We've entered an era in which humanity exerts unprecedented influence over its environment. And as both the planet and society evolve, so too must science. And yet it seems that I cannot. Perhaps I'm much too old of a dog to learn any new tricks. Was my explanation of planetology not to your liking? Perhaps a seminar would provide a more agreeable experience. Was my explanation of planetology not to your liking? Perhaps a seminar would provide a more agreeable experience. <laughs> Man, that cutscene was gorgeous. I mean, so it's like the, um, the Cosmo King in theater in the uh, Shinra Tower, which is kind of like their, we this weird, the wisdom of the planet. one, you know, you know, it's a bit of a bastardization since it's propaganda. Thanks I guess. so much for taking such great care of Nanaki for us. Fellow Bugenhagen instructed me to let you take anything you think might prove useful on your journey. Check out the storeroom when you have a chance. Oh my. Free loot. So when did Bugenhagen tell you that? He was standing in the observatory at the planetarium the whole time. You telepathic? One accessory. <laughs> I 
Weapon? Sword for Cloud? Nope. Catch up weapons for Kate. So he's got two weapons to use the crystal one and the red one. The oh, well, crystal one's got five. Okay, so it's use red to lure in Moogle Kaboom and then swap to crystal. Because that's his best one right now. Or his highest tier. It looks cool. I want to use Cloud's Crystal Sword. But losing two materia slots is just pain. That looks so freaking cool. Damn based on its original model from the OG game when it's just that, you know, flat little blob painted compared to this, crazy. their Dark Souls discipline. They sent the elevator back up for me. Because the girls just took it down, so. <laughs> but it's here. Yuffie? is lame. Did you know none of the materia here is even real? And don't get me started on the planetologists. Bunch of blowhards in love with the sound of their own voice. Wow. This village is lame. And don't get me started on the planetologists. Damn. Bunch of blowhards in love with the sound of their own voice. She is young. I heard from fellow Bugenhagen. By all means, please come and join the seminar. Follow me if you would. Which would you say is a more worthy pursuit? They are both one and the same. Wouldn't you agree? I ask you this. Who among you has looked inward? Oh no. It's a bit of a glitch on this man. His robe. A seminar is in progress. Please be respectful. I, uh, oh. Please continue on into the assembly. I've never been into physical stuff. Painting and poetry are more my thing. My old man, he... He used to say it was a waste. Me spending all my time indoors. According to him... Oh. What about you, miss? You must have a story to share. Please. Me? Uh, okay. <laughs> I, uh, where to begin? I fell into the life stream. I don't have words to describe it, except beautiful, maybe? It was a lot to take in. Feelings of kindness washed over me. Long forgotten memories came flooding back. It was a warm, comforting place. But there was also conflict. A war between the planet and its enemies. And I can't, I mean, we can't let them win. We need the planet 
and it needs us. We have to rise up, fight back, defend it from this terrible threat. Thing is, I don't know how to do any of that. And I hoped you might have the answer. <sighs> I, I'm not criticizing planetology or anything, and I'm not trying to scare anybody either. I just... You know... <sighs> Never mind. This is all coming out wrong. Please, do not be discouraged. Should you ever wish to try again, we would be more than happy to listen. What matters is that you keep challenging your beliefs. Stop doing that, and the answers will forever elude you. On that note, I think we should adjourn for the evening. The River of Lights is almost upon us, so let us head to the torch. Hmm. I'll see you at the festival. It's pretty frustrating for Tifa. And even just like from the outside in watching that is she she comes here to share her story and like no one believes her you know these are the people that are supposed to believe in all this kind of like depending on how you look at it like mumbo jumbo considering all this is basically like just believing in magic and the magic is real <laughs> and then tifa's like so i fell into the thing that has all the magic and all these people that are supposed to believe in the magic are like yeah, right. <laughs> they just don't believe her at all. And they say to challenge her beliefs. And, oh, man. That's tough. That's tough. Damn. I have a sneaky suspicion that the festival is going to be uh, quite an ordeal. So if you've been watching live, thank you. If you're watching on YouTube, thank you as well. There's a lot of other playlists that are out there. Got my whole Bloodborne playthrough. Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3. Got Final Fantasy 16. And obviously Remake, 7 Remake and the Intermission DLC, all that. That's all online if you want to watch me play through all those as well. Do a quick update. How far are we in? 75 hours, 66%. So we've definitely crested the halfway point, but we still have a lot to go. And I'll see you in the next one.